Aloha. It's your favorite friend with questionable character. Aloha, Mr. Han. Coming to you on this magnificently awesome weather day on Sunday, May 23rd, courtesy of our friends at from the 108. Oh, that's great. And of course, powered by Jack Daniels. Sadly, none today. So the Sox lose 5-4 to four and get swept out of the town so nice they named it twice New York, New York. Um, some bad from this game, and there are actually some positives from this game. Uh, Keiko gave up two in the first, and then the Yankees put single runs on in the fifth, sixth, and ninth. Uh, Abreu with a two-run bomb in the sixth. Grandal with a solo shot in the seventh. And... Andrew Vaughn with a pinch hit solo shot in the ninth off of a roll this Chapman that went oppo. I'm glad Tony told him to basically go hit a home run to tie the game up, you know, because, you know, Tony also told uh, Liam Hendricks to walk the, the last batter in the ninth inning with the bases loaded, too, to lose the game. So, but. Some positives to come out of this. Uh, one positive that I took is while the Sox were swept, two of the three games were decided by one run in the bottom of the ninth inning, which means they played level with the Yankees. And it also illustrates something that I argued last year, which people did not want to hear, the importance of home field advantage. You know why home field's important? Because if you have home field, you could walk off the other team if you're the visitor, you can be walked off. There were two examples of it this weekend. That's why home field advantage is important. This weekend shows you why home field advantage is important. But there were positives. There were some negatives as well. Don't get me wrong. Yesterday, the, the Dylan Cease game, like I said, that, that at bat by uh, Urshela, when he didn't get the strike call, he could not seem to handle not getting that call, and it just went downhill from there. Uh, Keuchel righted the ship this today after giving up the two in the first. Uh, defense needs some work, to be honest with you. It was a little sloppy today. Um, you know, but overall, yes, it sucks losing three games in a row. It sucks getting swept, especially when you're stepping up in competition compared to what you've been facing. But there isn't that far of a gap between these teams yes they were swept but there's not that far of a gap and i think had them having that experience of going in there and playing on par with them for two out of the three games will only help them in the long run versus getting blown out three games in a row and i like the fact that they stepped up in class and held their own in a lot of respects yes i would like to have seen wins so don't go jumping out saying, you know, I don't believe in moral victories, but at the same time, I will say they did play on par. They did not finish the job. That is something that I hope that they can learn to do throughout the rest of the season because I could see these teams being on a collision course. And for those of you who want to complain about the Tony La Russa lineups, who's he supposed to play? Tell me, who is, is he supposed to play? Uh who are they going to go get in the minors to fill in some of these roster spots with the injuries that happen? Let me know uh, when you find that out. So um, I'm not defending Tony in any way, but at the same time, if you're going to heap all this blame on Tony, you better heap some blame on the front office too for leaving this roster in the shape it's in. And I frankly think you should give Tony some credit for having this team where it is with the patchwork roster that he has. You may not like it. Oh, well. So, yeah, I'm a little feisty today, so what can I say? But uh, I had to eat a salad today, so I'm a little feisty. But that's all I got. Going to record a new episode of the Tainted Glove a little bit later today, so hopefully you'll check that out as well. And with that, I am out of here. Bang.